Good morning, everybody. Hope all is well. We are back for episode number two in this new video series. Today's topic is faith. What is it? So stick around. Faith. What is it? What do people mean when they say they are a person of faith? I assume for each person, it probably means a little bit something different. So hopefully today, I can get some of you people of faith to tell me in the comments, what is faith? What does it mean to you? I mean, look at this beautiful creation. Does God have anything to do with that? Curious what you think. And that's part of what I wanna ask. What is God? What is faith? What is heaven? Is heaven a place up there above the clouds? Is God somebody you eventually see? Somebody you meet up in heaven? Or is heaven, maybe God, just kind of an idea? Just so you guys know where I'm coming from, I picked this topic because I truly have no clue about any of this stuff. I would probably say I am a man not of faith. I am definitely not against something is out there. That being said, I'm also not afraid to say that this could be it. This life, we're done, and that's it. For me, the one thing that I think I truly know is nobody really knows. There's always the faith perspective. That's a pretty popular one. There's other people in this world that thinks other things happen after you die. But for today's video, I'm kind of more interested in what people of faith think, what they truly believe, or what they maybe believe. Are there people out here that believe in the generic version of faith? Kind of like the version you might see in the movies. You might believe that heaven is up there somewhere. And maybe once you get up there to heaven, you see the white pearly gates. Everything is white, nice and bright. God is standing there waiting to let you in. Once you get inside, your grandma and grandpa are there waiting for you. All your past friends and relatives that had passed on before. Is that sometimes a legitimate belief for people of faith? I'm curious, let me know below. Like I said earlier, it's obviously likely most people of faith have their own version of what that is. Even if they go to the same churches, hear the same sermons, and listen to the same priests, pastors, I think it's probably likely you could have two people the same age, going to the same churches, listening to the same information, and coming up with completely different ideas what that means. And that's what I wanna hear below. What are your ideas of faith? You can keep it simple, just give me a couple lines, or you can write a whole paragraph. I don't care, I'm definitely interested. Then I'm curious to some of you guys, people of faith, is it more of an idea? Is there not a heaven up in the sky? Is it something else completely? Is it more of an idea? Same thing as God? Is he somebody you can see? Is it even a he? So what is God? What is heaven? I know some say heaven is filled with past loved ones. What else is in heaven? Are there trees in heaven? Is there other life? Animals, birds, only certain animals, only certain birds. Does the pig, the cow of the bacon we ate this morning, are they in heaven? I'm assuming if you're a person of faith, you believe in your idea strongly. Does that mean everybody else's idea is wrong, not right? Or how do you feel about that? Sometimes I hear somebody say, well, it's because they took God out of schools. Again, what does that mean? Who's God? Is it only one God that counts? Do other people's gods count? I don't know, I'm asking. <laughs> I hear some people say they took prayer out of schools which I don't quite understand, let me know below. But can't you pray whenever you want, wherever you are? I don't know, that's always what I assumed, I guess. Is there anybody watching out there that does not believe in faith at all under any circumstances? Let me know below, give me your thoughts. So back at the main topic at hand, faith. What is it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Is it reality? Is there a place up in the sky? Is God physically waiting there? You can see him when you get there. Do you finally get to see all your loved ones? 
who had passed before you? Or is faith more of an idea? Heaven is not necessarily up there, but somewhere else. God might be somebody you don't actually see. It's more of an idea, a feeling. Those are the big questions I have. Faith, what is it? For myself, guys, this is kind of heaven right here. If you guys made it this far into the video, congratulations. If you want to hear a little more controversial subject, stick around. So I got a little bit more coming up. Again, I'm not trying to take anybody off here. I am seriously just very curious about this coming up situation. Listen closely. I often wonder if you are a person of serious faith and you believe it 100%, should death of a loved one not really bother you that much? Or maybe you yourself are diagnosed with a life ending illness. Should that not bother you either? If you are a true person of faith. Not that I go to church a lot. But the handful of times I do go there, maybe once a year, twice a year, you will often hear the priest say, so and so is in a better place. Or so and so is finally home with God. So for me, when I think about it, if you are a person of faith and you have no doubt, shouldn't you maybe be slightly happy when a loved one passes on? Of course, you're gonna be sad and hurt for a while because the loved one has passed on and you no longer get to see that person. But if you're a true person of faith, once you understand that before long, you're gonna see him again. Because I think one thing everybody can agree on is life is damn short, that's for sure. If you're a true person of faith, I would kind of think that death is almost a good thing. No? I don't know. Let me know. Because upon death, you finally get to go home where you belong, right? Is that how it is? Or if you're sick, you get diagnosed. You got a year or two left. Shouldn't that be kind of exciting? You finally get to go home with God where you belong. If people of faith believe what I'm talking about right now, what does all this mean here? Just a little short jaunt here on earth? If you are a person of faith and you believe everything I'm just talking about now, what does all this mean? I'm curious, what's this for? If we know there is a heaven, there is a God, and our family is waiting for us back home, isn't that a really good thing? Should we almost be happy for death? Again, I'm not saying people aren't going to be sad when somebody dies. That's obvious. I don't know. Is it kind of like maybe your wife or girlfriend, husband or boyfriend? They're going on vacation. So you're going to be sad and hurt a little bit because they're not going to be around for a while. But you can't be too sad or hurt because, you know, before long, you'll see them again. Now, if you're a true person of faith... Does the same scenario kind of exist with death? Yes, your mom, your dad passed away and you are hurting and sad. But maybe it shouldn't be so bad. Like I said earlier, you're gonna see him soon enough, right? You will be reunited with all your loved ones exactly where you're supposed to be in heaven, back at home with God. Here's where it might even get a little more controversial. The reason I question a lot of this is I know a lot of people of faith, friends and family. I've often seen some of these people struggle very hard with death. Their hurt and pain lingers for years and years and years. But yet, they claim to be people of faith, and they're very strong about that. If you're a true person of faith, should it really hurt that bad? Should it linger on for years and years and years? Because like I mentioned before, isn't your loved one where they belong now? in a happier place back home. So if you're a true believer, why does it hurt for so long? To me, if it does hurt that long, isn't that really selfish if you're a true believer? Because I would think if you know your loved one is back home in heaven, why are you still suffering? Because I don't think it is because you're selfish. Because if it was because you're selfish, I mean, you are really, really selfish. Wow. But again, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That's why I'm here. I guess for me, when you're truly a person of faith, 
it wouldn't agonize you for years and years and years after a loved one passes on. So I will question that person's faith. Even if they claim to be a person of faith, if they're struggling that hard for years and years after somebody passes on, do they really truly believe? You know, you might be going through all the actions, doing your part, going to church, but I think if you're a true person of faith, it shouldn't hurt that bad for so long. So I'm thinking deep down, if you're in that situation, you probably have some doubt, even though you don't want to admit it. And that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's life. All right, guys. Hope I wasn't too all over the place. I'm just trying to cover as much as I can. I do know there's things I miss. So hopefully, maybe we can get some people on board in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Tell me things I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm very curious on this subject. I will do one last quick rundown what this video was about, and I will let you guys get going. Of course, the topic, faith, what is it? Let me know. I believe everybody has a different idea on what faith is. Personally, I don't consider myself a man of faith, but I have no problem believing there's something out there. I don't know what it is. And that's the number one thing I believe is, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. People of faith, is it really a physical heaven that you go to? Or is it just an idea? Same thing for God. Is God is like a person you see? Or is it more of an idea? How does the rest of this fit in with faith? Animals, trees, plants, you name it. Also, maybe something I didn't measure. How does the universe play in all this? Faith. Or, if you are a person of faith, how can death affect you for so long? The continued pain and hurt after a loved one passes. And of course, if you have a scary death sentence yourself, should that really be scary? That's it, folks. Episode number two, faith. What is it? Under wraps. If you made it this far into the video, wow. Impressive. Maybe it's worth at least a like button. Hit that thumbs up, folks. Yes, this topic was a little deep. We're gonna get some fun stuff in here in some upcoming episodes. I probably should have said this earlier in the video, but like I said in the last video, above all, I am a realist. I want to keep it real. And being real, to me, isn't one person's opinion. So guys, the comment section is open below. Let it rip. I want to say thanks for watching. And thanks for following as I get a few miles in. Much appreciated. Next time.